Dennis Nielsen began targeting similar victims in London the same year serial killer John Wayne Gacy was arrested for killing young men and boys. Many of these victims were dismissed as runaways when they vanished. The year that serial killer John Wayne Gacy was apprehended by law enforcement was also the year that a serial killer in the United Kingdom was caught. In an eerily similar manner, they began targeting their victims. Gacy was convicted of murdering 33 young boys and men and disposing of many of their bodies in the crawl space beneath his home. After killing a beloved honors student in his Chicago suburb community, his five-year killing spree seems to have ended. Before that, many of his victims were simply dismissed as runaways by the police and social services when they disappeared. He targeted gay boys whose families shunned them because they were gay. Peacock's docuseries John Wayne Gacy Devil in Disguise from 2021 noted institutionalized homophobia at the time. As Dr. Sherry Hamby, a research professor of psychology at the University of the South, Gacy was aware that such individuals often slip through the cracks and are not always properly investigated when they disappear. During his killing spree in London, Dennis Nielsen, a Scottish serial killer, targeted gay men and boys, as well as drug users and homeless individuals. He claimed to have killed 15 males over a five-year period when he was arrested in 1983. Investigators discovered multiple human remains on his property, as they did with Gacy's. Several of the dismembered remains were flushed down the toilet by Nielsen, while others were scattered in the backyard. Netflix's new documentary, Memories of a Murderer, The Nielsen Tapes points out that the gay men and boys who survived the murderer's attacks were either dismissed by the police or afraid to come forward because of institutionalized homophobia. In the opinion of Scottish criminologist David Wilson, who spent years visiting Nielsen in prison and writing to him, Nielsen absolutely targeted marginalized groups. Those who are marginalized in some way are the only groups that serial killers are likely to target, and they are unlikely to be missed if they were to disappear. The reason older people are so often targeted is because we expect them to die and do not inquire as to why they do so. It is not accidental that no serial killers have targeted dentists, lawyers, or professors. He said both Gacy and Nielsen committed their crimes at a time when there was structural and societal homophobia and that both sought to realize their sexual fantasies. He added that Nielsen desired to feel powerful by exerting dominance over younger men. Their victims were similar, boys and some men who would not be missed. A 2020 UCLA study found that LGBT persons are nearly four times more likely to be victims of violent crime than non-LGBT persons. Over the years, there has been some progress in how we value victims of crime. However, she noted that we still have a long way to go. In her opinion, Victim-centered narratives can encourage people not to dismiss victims based on their lifestyle, gender identity, sexuality, or socioeconomic status.